I'm just gonna keep mining and hold out till it reaches 10,000 per Bitcoin. Which it will, because <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm an early adopter. Yeah, fiat currency is so yesterday. Today, I bought a mocha frappuccino with my smartphone and a week's worth of groceries, all using the power of Bitcoin. Oh, and I still have some Satoshis left over. <laughs> yeah, my next tattoo is gonna be a QR code. Mom! I need your credit card to buy more Bitcoin! Now, Timmy, I'm not so sure you should spend so much money on your computer games. Jesus Christ, it's not a game, Mom! It's a state-of-the-art digital currency that's going to revolutionize the world economy! God! We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Gavin o openly dis openly discusses that he will be giving a presentation about Bitcoin in the middle of June to the CIA. Has the FBI called you guys, the CIA? Have your phones been yeah, tapped? Yeah, actually, uh, I'll be giving a presentation uh, talking about Bitcoin at the CIA, at CIA headquarters in Lanning, Virginia, uh, in the middle of June. So uh, Bitcoin has definitely... Um, popped up to the, the intelligence community's radar, and I'm going to be very interested to find out kind of what their concerns are um, and, you know, try to find out a little bit from them of, you know, what do they think of Bitcoin? I mean, it's... Uh, they invited you? You contacted them? How did that occur? CIA? They contacted me. Really? So, um, How does that occur? You, you get a phone call and it's like, hi, this is Jason from the CIA. Would you mind coming down here and telling us about your open source project? Actually, uh, kind of, yeah. They actually have a, um, they have basically what's a, a, a venture capital firm that's owned by the CIA that invests in startups that they think uh, might be useful to this or interesting to the CIA. So yep. this I know uh, it. person yep. from... Inqtel. Yep. Inqtel, that's them. Ah, so um, Inqtel was the, was the intermediary. Yep, they're the intermediary. And uh, they, 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 I believe they have something to do with organizing... Um, they have an emerging technology conference that they put on to the intelligence community. And uh, this year, um, they're talking about money. So they're very interested in Bitcoin. And I'll when is go that? and... When is that? That's the middle of June. The fact that this is not the FBI, Department of Justice, or SEC that would handle criminal or securities issues make me wonder if something's even more nefarious at play here. He is going to speak in front of the venture capital firm of the CIA called Incutel. For those of you that don't know, Inqtel is a, is a private company that specializes in high-tech companies that are of great use to the intelligence community. I believe that Inqtel is the real power behind the powerhouses. Here's the shifts to electronic payments may negatively affect the poor, elderly and disabled as they lack access to technology and credit. Another issue is the high number of fraud cases involving electronic transactions. It also takes a hit at privacy and freedom, with banks and governments being able to monitor every single transaction a person ever makes, and what the purpose of the transaction was. We're studying it. All indicators uh, pointed to uh, Bitcoin being something that was homegrown, uh, made by uh, a pseudo-anonymous sort of hacker or programmer who came up with it to uh, release us from the monetary system, the monetary policies of the Fed and of the international bankers. Let's say Bitcoin completely overwhelms the dollar system. If it overwhelms the dollar system, 
That literally means we will be a cashless society. Now, I want you to put on your intellectual cap just for a second. What has the Federal Reserve and the international bankers been trying to do for the past 100 years? Completely take control over all monetary policy and monetary systems in the world and to render us a cashless society. I don't think you know who Bitcoin or what Bitcoin really is. A lot of people are drinking the Kool-Aid and saying Bitcoin is the second coming of the dollar. The story is that Bitcoin was originally developed by... is pushing for a cashless society and talking about banning cash, huh? <laughs> Some crypto genius came up with an online alternative and it's called the Biker Coin Cryptocurrency. <laughs> it's the first real online substitute to cash paper money and the best thing about the Biker Coin is the anonymous technology. Yeah, <laughs> you heard it right. Unlike Bitcoin, Biker Coins are untraceable, making it the perfect alternative to fiat currencies. Furthermore, biker... I hate that guy. We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. A nuclear attack is occurring against the United States. Four nuclear missiles have been launched from unknown locations and are expected to strike the United States within the next 15 minutes. Due to the uncertain tracks of these missiles, all residents of the United States should seek out and prepare to take shelter immediately 